Well, I gave away my best baby-making years to the wrong man. Mm. We know about that. Okay, yeah, y'all heard it. So that's why you moan that way. Because when you're in a relationship, you don't really realize, especially when you have ovaries, you're not just giving away your time, you're giving away your biology. This comes as no surprise, especially if you've been in the manosphere for some years now. They spend their 20s in the whole phase, 30s to 35 in the danger zone, 36 to 45 getting closer and closer to menopause. It tripped me out how I see the same thing from all different types of women, black, white, Asian, Latinas, they all do the whole face. Yeah. And so when you think about it that way, you will get out of that expired relationship mm. a lot earlier. Damn, okay. I was 37 years old and I got 29 viable eggs. Mm. So they are hanging out in the freezer. Hanging out in the freezer because the strong, independent woman is on grind mode and don't need no man, right? You don't need a man to get where you want to go in life. So I'll try in vitro or artificial insemination if need be, right? Well, tell me, how much that costs? You're totally right that egg freezing is very expensive. It's approximately fifteen to $20,000 per cycle. This bitch can't be serious. Come on, man. I asked my gynecologist if she knew any ways for me to affordably freeze my eggs. I said, yeah, that's hard. It's really expensive. I don't know. You could get a job for Google. I guess they have really good health care. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Well, more power to you. It would have been cheaper the traditional way because the man would pay all the prenatal. But you got this, right? Oh, you didn't get the newsletter in the mail that goes out to every woman in the world just saying, hey, you know, when you're around 35, 40, you're going to go through this thing called perimenopause. Your ears might start itching. Your scalp will get dry. Your eyes will get dry. Nobody can touch you because you just, your skin is crawling. How ironic this is around the same age women want to try in vitro or AI. Hey, y'all. Hey. So the method we did was AI, which is artificial insemination. All I can say is women this age got some driver JJ. You might get a brush burn and she'll have to keep low. <laughs> Been there, done that. Not too amazing but different strokes for different folks. Ladies, here are some of the most common symptoms associated with menopause and more importantly, what to do about it. I'm gonna to get to that in a second. So is it the hair loss that you may be experiencing? Itchy skin, of course, the hot flashes and the night sweats, but dryness of the skin as well can be related to menopause and those hormones changing, as well as breast pain, loss of libido, vaginal dryness, and even joint pain and osteoporosis as those declining estrogen estrogen levels are also causing a loss of that bone density and that calcium getting deposited into the bone. So I am not having a good menopause day today. I'm not. And I am a menopause expert. Yes, I'm on hormone replacement therapy and it's like work in progress. It is complete trial and error and what worked for me five years ago when I first started going through menopause needs to be adjusted. I think what frustrates me the most is I just can't get away with the things that I used to be able to. So what you getting with a woman this age who wants a late pregnancy is somewhat irritable. I mean, as a man, we want the younger woman naturally. But when you see the science behind women in their 40s and 50s, then it makes perfect sense. These women will be a headache without their prescribed antidotes. Complaining about getting on their knees and all that. Who's up for the challenge? <laughs> a term that I keep hearing bandied about on here is hitting the wall. Several men have said that I have hit the wall. Men, does some of you really believe this to be true? Let me know. Hey guys, this week it's poor cleanup day. I can't set it up without cleaning up. So, I'm cleaning this up so I can set it up. And then guess what? Next week, I'm going to be in this sucker. Well, it's always blue pillars that fall for the rigmarole. The ones who call these women cougars and blah, blah, blah. I mean, can you feel empathy for women who make it to this age single and neglected the beta males in their youth? To be fair, though, there are some beautiful older women but would you settle down with one? Come on, son. 
If I'm curating the red pill talking points right, the answer would be no. Man, it's just something about after you make love to an older woman. Just leave something on your mind. Y'all brothers, you you brothers that, that be knocking older women, man, I'm telling you, I got the best of both worlds. Trust me. Yes, sir. Oh, but but these young sisters, they 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 make you think about them after y'all, you know, do y'all thing, but it's just something about an older woman. I don't know what the hell it is, but woo, it's like those muscles, those older women, just the muscles just come here, come here, come here, and you, oh, oh, woo, older women, see them, them young girls still believe in keep, you know, that wetness where you slide and you know, man, man older women know how to grip it. This dude talking about it's probably gripping because it's dry and kind of painful with the thrust. He said it right. Younger women got the splash splash. Call it for what it is, bruh. No capping. And for the young bucks out there dealing with these cougars, if they have sons the same age as you, tread lightly. No man the same age as you will respect you smashing his mom. <laughs> know that. Listen up, this is to all the cougars that's in my DM. If your son is my age and still living with you, I'm not fucking with you. So you might as well just leave me alone. Real talk. Y'all study be trying to invite a nigga to your house talking about some, oh, my son here, but he grown. He ain't gonna be bothering us. And the whole time you over there, this nigga fucking around with an Xbox headset on, making his titties muscle jump, trying to intimidate him. Damn. Then what did study wanna talk about some, oh, we gotta get my baby something to eat. Who the fuck is your baby, ma'am? Six, eight, 345 pounds, bitch. That ain't no baby, that's a monster. Baby daddy is Shaq. Damn. Now this man that fucked around and put his hands on me because I'm laid up with his mom. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I, I was giving his mama some head. She slept into cardiac arrest. I didn't know what to f do. So I ran out the room. I'm like, Jason, something going on with your mama. I need you to like, I need you to come in and help me. He talking about some, bro, why the fuck is you naked? Nigga, you worried about the wrong shit. Your mama in here dying. We need to figure this out. So we walking in the room, and before I know it, he come bring his hand around it and, and hit me in my shit. So now we tussling the shit. I done fucked around. I done slipped and got my way up out of there. But I'm done. If you, if your son is my age, don't, don't invite me to your fucking house. Hold, hold on. Hey, hey, Jason. Hey, what the fuck? Come calm on, man. down, bro. Is she all right? Yeah, don't worry about her, man. All right, get can, the fuck bro, on. Bro, can I come in and get the rest of my clothes, my drawers and wallet and stuff? Man, you better get the fuck all up right, out never of here, mind. man. I'm gonna go. All right. <laughs> Here I am, still single, still looking. <laughs>